To win even a single event on the PGA Tour is a spectacular achievement, even among the world class. But to win multiple events and a major championship, well, that simply catapults you to a near permanent status among some of the greatest who ever played the game. This is why it is my privilege to introduce you today to our guest instructor. He happens to be a member here at the club at Horseshoe Bay, as well as a multiple winner and a major champion. Rich Beam, so glad to have you here. Thank you very kindly. You know, whenever you uh, accepted the offer to come here and teach uh, as a guest instructor, I mentioned to you, you may remember this, I said, hey, is there, uh, is there some part of the game that you'd feel most comfortable teaching? And you, there was a pause on the phone, you said, no, Bobby, pick the topic. You, there's lots of shots that you have to hit during a round of golf. I mean, pick one and we'll figure it out. Well, that's what you said, because I've worked with many teachers who say, well, I'll teach putting, but not chipping, or chipping, but not pitching. And uh, then I got to thinking, well, that makes sense. I mean, you're a major champion. You should be familiar with pretty much every aspect of the yeah, game. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. You know, part of the game that we're going to do today is the fairway bunker, and we're out here. In what, the what, what, <laughs> the what? Wait, that's the one part he doesn't want to teach. You're we we're the fairway <laughs> Like anything easy? Easier you could have picked. Yeah, right. Oh you man, see, see, yeah. uh, you know, I got no, no. I we're gonna do this. We're gonna work this thing out. It looks like. But before we do, <laughs> I want you to take us back. You know, I remember. I will forever remember where I yeah. stood uh, when you made that final putt mm -hmm. to fend off Tiger, uh, to turn the trick to win your first ever major championship at Hazeltine in 2002. Tell us what that moment was like. It's surreal, it, and it still is uh, by a wide margin. If you, if I actually take a look back and kind of think about what I was doing, but I was playing some unbelievable golf at the time, and so going through and playing golf, it was that's exactly what I was doing. I was playing golf. I wasn't really working on my swing that much. Everything about my game was pretty spot on, and just to go out there and just play the game. Listen, to be on the PGA Tour first and foremost was an accomplishment. And then to win my rookie year was a massive accomplishment. But, but to win a major was, was mind-blowing. And I, I would have never expected it. In fact, as a kid, I never even dreamt that big. It was just one of those things where you just don't expect that to happen to you. I think there's, that's for the select few. And for whatever reason, I was honored to be one of those select field. Well, I'll never forget it. As I say, there were seven of us that came off the couch. But because we, Where were you, by the way? It moment. I was in, uh, in Dubuque, Iowa. Yeah. Teaching did, golf at did, Eagle Ridge. Did you lose a bet to get to Dubuque, <laughs> Iowa? No. We were pulling for you, man, the whole way. <laughs> we, saw the, we saw your general spirit, and we said, that's an affable guy, and we want him to win. That's me. And so that's uh, me. it's been fun watching you ever since. So I'll tell you Perfect. what, let's get in this fairway bunker and unveil the mysteries of the 150-yard bunker shot. I'm in. All right, I'm let's in. do it. So, so take us through the shot, and what I mean by that is what you're looking at here, the yardage, how you chose your club, all that. So we, we've got 150 yards here, and I, I was fortunate. When I went to a, a junior academy back when I was 13 years old at PGA West, the one thing that I remember, or the only thing I remember, is when you're in a fairway bunker, you need to look at the front end of the golf ball. Never look at the top, never look at the back, always look at the front. And what that does is it forces you, it forces your mind to concentrate on swinging through the, through the shot instead of at the golf ball. I think a lot of times when you're in the fairway, you either look at the top of the ball or the back of the ball where you wanna strike it. If you start looking back there, you get a little bit steep and you catch any grain of sand, guess what? You're gonna hit it fat. So the most important thing I believe is always to look at the front of the golf ball. Another thing that I learned when I was on tour listening to, ironically, Johnny Miller, was he said, always toe the club slightly in. Oh. And what that does is it actually takes away almost half the golf club. It almost takes away this part of it. If you open it up this way, this part of the golf club is exposed. If you go this way, this part of the golf club is exposed. Most people, when they hit the golf ball, they go heel deep. Very few times people get toe deep with their shots. So he says, go ahead and tow it in just ever so slightly. So we've got 150 yards here, and this is actually a nine iron normally, but we're into a little bit of a wind, so I'm gonna go ahead and take an eight iron. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it down just a little bit, not a lot. I'm gonna go, this is square, and this is a little towed in. And 
I always play it in the center of my stance. Try and get it right in the middle of it. And when you dig your feet in, what does that mean? That means you actually sink down a little bit. So what, is it, what does that equate to? You gotta choke down. You have to choke down just a little bit. So instead of grabbing it on this end of the golf club, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it just a little bit further down, Bobby. And center of the stance, and I'm gonna go ahead and tow it in just a little bit. And I'm looking right up at the front of the golf ball right there and I'm just gonna swing as normally as I can. She's coming back. And she's riding the, she's riding the wind, she's Excellent. hooking a little bit. Okay. It's on the green someplace, but it, it's just, it's more about clean contact and you have to kind of keep as few variables out of this shot as possible. If you choke down just a little bit and you look at the front part of the golf ball and you tow it a little bit, that you have all the opportunities to catch it clean. Now, there's other things you could do, hang back by you trying to lift it out of the bunk. Listen, just kind of keep it as simple as you sure. possibly can. Excellent. Well, so you heard it. We talked about some of the shot specifics, playing it back, pretending the front of the ball is actually the back of the ball and placing your focus there, adjusting the wedge for different particulars so that you can catch the ball clean, and then playing it smart. And uh, that's all good work and so glad to have you out here. Thank you very much, Bob. Demonstrating all of that. It's a Thank pleasure. You. And if Appreciate we it. ever have you back, We'd love to. Absolutely, anytime you ask. All right, thank you now.